What's going on guys, David Driscoll here. For those who don't know me, I'm a 21 year old division three lacrosse player at Montclair State University in New Jersey. I love lacrosse, I love fitness. So come along with me for a day in my life, but it's not just a normal day in the life. It's summer right now and I'm on day six of what I'm calling my summer challenge, which I created my own version of 75 hard. It's like for athletes but 75 hard. So the rules are I have to work out every day. I have to play lacrosse every day and I have to eat only clean food for the entire summer. And what do I mean by clean food? I mean food that only comes from the earth, made by the earth and stuff that's not processed in factories with a million ingredients on the label. So right now I'm in my car. I'm about to go drive over to the track and I'm going to go run on the track so i'll see you guys there all right guys so we have now made it to the track we have a very exciting day planned today um i'm gonna get this run in right now and then i'm gonna work out at the gym at my school after it's actually so nice because for the summer the gym is open the one for students at my school and i'm like the only one there so it's honestly really great having like the gym to myself um and then i'm gonna go to the field again this field um, with my friend, my roommate, and we're gonna do some one-on-ones. Can't wait for that. I'm a face-off guy, so we'll see how we do, but I wanna be more comfortable with carrying the ball with pressure. In addition, the reason why I'm running right now is because I really wanna get better at my cardio and running because something I noticed this past season that I struggled with was you know, just staying full of energy throughout games, if you know what I mean. I was getting tired and I noticed as I got tired, it really affected the way I was facing off and it, it did hurt me. So that's something I wanna improve upon. But yeah, I'm super excited. Let's get this run in. All right, guys, one mile is complete. I just made it back home. I'm not gonna lie. That's the first time I've ran since the season ended, which was two weeks ago. A little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be, but hey, we all start somewhere. It's a start. I want to start running every single day as part of the summer challenge. So now I haven't eaten anything yet today. I'm about to make breakfast and show you guys what I eat. All right, so for breakfast, I'm about to have some eggs, probably four. I'm going to have 60 grams of oats. I'm going to have a scoop of protein powder and about half a serving of Greek yogurt. I'm going to weigh everything out on my food scale right here. Then I'm going to log it into my fitness pal, which has been so clutch for me over these past few years of tracking all my food and helping me achieve my fitness goals. All right, boys, we got two things going on at once here. We got the eggs cooking and we got the oats cooking. I'm so hungry, I'm so ready to eat this. Also guys, this is how I weigh my food. So I already weighed out the Greek yogurt. Now I wanna weigh out the protein powder. So I'm gonna hit zero on the scale and it's 30 grams for a serving. So I'm just gonna pour it in until it gets to 30. Boom, perfect. All right, so this is what my breakfast looks like on the cut. I plugged it into MyFitnessPal and it's 665 calories, 66 grams of protein, 44 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of fat. I'm trying to get one gram of protein per pound of body weight a day. It's really key for building muscle. Um, I'm also drinking a gallon of water per day. I'm trying to, because that's also very helpful. Helps with like brain fog, staying hydrated so I can push through these workouts, because I'm basically doing two workouts a day for the summer challenge, my version of 75 hard with a lacrosse workout and uh, working out in the gym and probably a run too that I'm gonna add in. So now I'm gonna eat this. This is gonna be my pre-workout meal. After I eat this, I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna get ready for the gym. All right guys, so now it is time to get ready for the gym. We completed step one, which is put on a nice tank top. Gotta show off the guns, legal guns, don't worry. Um, step two, I always take pre-workout before I go to the gym. This is my favorite one. It's uh, from a supplement company called Bucked Up. I'm sponsored by them. This is their original pre-workout, KO Kiwi flavor, it tastes so good. The reason why I take pre-workout guys is because there's a lot of ingredients in here that are researched to help you have a better workout. I really like it a lot. I feel like it really helps me. There's like caffeine, 200 milligrams in this one. Um, a lot of ingredients to help you get a better pump and focus, just really dial in for your workout. So I got eight ounces of water right here 
And I recommend drinking pre-workout 30 minutes before you go to the gym, because that's how long it takes to kick in. So we're gonna take our scooper right here and do about one scoop of KO Kiwi. If you guys wanna get some pre-workout from Bucked Up, you can use my code DAVID20 to save 20% off and support me as well. So it's a win-win. You guys get a fire pre at a discounted price and it supports me. All products as well it applies to, not just this original pre-workout, but this is the this is the one I take like every day. Here we go, boys. One sip. Everybody knows the rules. That's gas. I love this flavor so far. All right, now time to get my bag together. And we're going to get in the car and drive over to the gym. All right, guys, we have parked. Now we are walking over to the gym. I like to park basically all the way across campus in the garage because it really helps me get my steps in. I'm trying to get 10,000 steps every day because that's a really big hack for weight loss and just getting cardio in because I'm trying to cut right now. I'm about 177 pounds, I'm trying to get down to about like 167. So yeah, that's part of the summer challenge is I want to achieve my dream physique in addition to getting better at lacrosse. So yeah, we're walking over right now. We're on campus, as you guys can see, pretty cool. And I'll see you guys when we get closer to the gym. All right guys, so we're almost at the gym now. Listen, I'm gonna try my best to film my workout because this gym, they kind of don't really allow filming just blatantly with a tripod out in the open. So I'm gonna just set my phone up for the most amount of exercises I can and show you guys the workout. Today, we're gonna do back and biceps. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna be like the only one in there. So they never really have had a problem with me filming in there anyways. But I really wanna show you guys what I'm doing. And yeah, I'm, I'm hype, let's go. Okay guys, here it is, Student Recreation Center. This is the gym, super dope. It's really clutch how it's open over the summer. And I'm living at my college house this summer, so I don't have to pay for a gym or anything like that. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the workout. Let's go. All right guys, quick little peek. There you go. There's also a pool over there. It's pretty dope. Guys, I'm trying to be so secretive with this. Um, there's a basketball court right in there. Vending machine, I don't know why there's so much junk food in the vending machine at the gym, that's ridiculous. A couple TVs, nice massage chair, and yeah. We're gonna head to the locker room now. There's a racquetball court uh, too, pretty cool. And the locker room is just around the corner. All right guys, it is go time. We got our headphones. Like I said before, I'm gonna try to show you guys as much of the workout as I can. Let's get it.
right guys, and that concludes the workout. Before I recap it all for you guys, let's check out the pump really quick. All right, so I started the workout with a few sets of pull-ups, really just trying to stretch out my lats, just get some blood in the muscle, just warm up a bit. Um, then I got right into some lat pull-downs. That's probably my favorite exercise for the lats. Uh, like three sets to failure, really trying to get a big stretch. I did a few drop sets as well. Then I moved into uh, cable curls. I really like doing cables for biceps because there's tension at all times. I did about three Pretty heavy working sets with that. Then I moved into some barbell rows after. Whenever I train back, I always like to mix in at least one pull down and one row. That way I can hit the back from different angles. So I did some pretty heavy sets, 185. I like to train heavy. I like to train heavy, hard, and to failure. I don't necessarily train for a pump, like 15 reps, moderately lightweight. I still get a really good pump even when I'm going heavy and training hard to failure. Then I finished the workout with some rope curls, again, with the cable. I love that because there's tension at all times on the biceps. I did that to target my, um, like the inside of my bicep. I forget what it's called. Um, but anyway, you have two parts of your bicep. There's like an outer part and an inner part. The hammer curl, that rope, really targets that inner part. And yeah, checked out the pump, really good. I'm really happy with the physique right now. Just trying to get leaner. I'm really happy with the amount of muscle mass I have. I really just want to cut down and really sculpt my physique. So yeah, now I'm gonna head home, get a post-workout meal in, and then I'm gonna get ready to head to the field and play some lacrosse. Also, I have workout programs at the link in the description, daviddriscollfit.com. Walking back from the gym now, guys. I just feel absolutely incredible. I have a pump, there's no better feeling in the gym than just getting a pump. It's so good for you mentally and physically, of course. Come on, the gym makes you big. But dude, the mental benefits of the gym is why I really love it so much because as someone, I deal with a lot of stress and anxiety in my life. You know, I did lose my dad a few years ago and that was a really hard time for me. I was really depressed and going to the gym really pulled me out of that depression and helped me get, find happiness again alongside lacrosse as well but the gym just really did it for me. And I just wanted to share that with you guys that, you know, if you're feeling stressed, anxious, depressed, start going to the gym and I promise you, your life will change. All right, we got the post-workout meal right here about to go down. We got 250 grams of sweet potato and about eight ounces of chicken breast. Macros are 550 calories, 55 grams of protein, 58 grams of carbs and 11 grams of fat. I'm gonna enjoy this right now, eat it up, and then get ready to go play some lacrosse. All right, what up guys? Heading to the field right now, gonna play some lacrosse, gonna do some one-on-ones, some shooting, just mess around, have fun with it. Something I really need to work on is just running more, so that's what I'm doing. And yeah, guys, lacrosse, I love it a lot. It's always been a huge part of my life. I've always been playing sports, but lacrosse really turned into my main sport over the years. And I'm just super blessed to be able to play in college and yeah you guys know I'm a senior so you know I've been saying on social media like I'm not sure if I'm coming back for a fifth year or not well I want to tell you guys that with the summer challenge how I'm playing lacrosse every day working out every day and eating clean the whole summer the getting better for lacrosse thing well it's because I am coming back for a fifth year let's go to Montclair State uh you can go buddy you can go um, I'm so excited for that. So I really just want to give everything I have to this final year and just, you know, go all in and really just give everything I have. And oh no, it looks like the field is taken. We may have to go 
Yeah. At least to the Montclair State Field. Yeah. I think, I think that's what we're going to do instead. But yeah, boys, we'll catch you over at the Montclair State Field. All right, boys, we just pulled up to the field. As you can see, none of this equipment is mine. Literally, not even the stick. The helmet is actually mine. Shout out Montclair State. Shout out Jesse James West, former Montclair State lacrosse player. Let's go, baby. We're on the field. Check out the field, boys. Pretty sweet. We got some balls. I think the plan is we're going to shoot for a little bit, you know, get warmed up, get loose, and then we're going to run some one-on-ones against my boy behind the camera. And he's going to lose. <laughs> Alright boys, it's time to run some one-on-ones. You've all been waiting for it. We got my boy, Deep Strings, right here. We're gonna go rock, paper, scissors. Rules are first to three goals, like inside the pipe, pretty close. You can't shoot it right at the goalie. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Alright, I'm going first. Let's go. Turn me out, chat. Here we go. We gotta get a good ball. You always gotta make sure it's it's not a greaser that you pick up the rock. All right, here we go. Yo, wait, should we do the like switch thing? Like it's a check in basketball? All right, yeah, I... we're gonna check it up like it's basketball, yeah. Yeah, yeah so like I start here, pass it. All right, I'm just, guys. Touch the line. Chad, what move should I put on him? Let's go boys, let's go bench, hype up the bench boys. All right boys, scores 1-0 me. It's Steve Strings turn now, let's go. Let's lock him up. I'm a long pull, so even if I get one, like that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> All right, 1-0 still, my turn for offense. What is it, 1-0, one 1-0? Nil? One nil? David? dancing. Slide would have been there. Chad, does it count? <laughs> All right, guys, we're still unsure if that counts or not. You guys got to comment down below, but now it's my turn for defense. Let's go boys, let's go. That shot was wet. That was. All right boys, I just made three goals in a row, but Thief Strings, he gets redemption now. He's got to th score three times in a row against me in order to win this series. Let's go. Woo! Oh, 
Oh, yeah, let me get it. <laughs> bro. <laughs> that was dumb. That was dumb. No, nah, that's that no, ends it, bro. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Come on. All right, fine, fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna count it for him. That's one. Rapid fire. He's gotta make two more now. And that's the series, boys. Your boy takes the W. All right, boys, now we're going to do the same 1v1 except dodging from X. First to three wins. I'm going first because I won the last one. Let's go. Nope. Don't go. It's a good move, though. Guys, the question mark, it's a good move. It's a good move. It works, but... You gotta hit the shot and not be a face-off guy like me. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh my god! Yo, these cleats, the spikes are like worn out at the bottom. No, I'm kidding. I literally got my ankles broken. My Bro, he sold the clip. You guys saw that? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you cooked me. Guys, I just got cooked. I just got exposed. I'll do a minute. No goal. He's really a default. He's a good defender, guys. He is tough to get by. I will say that. You said. Your favorite spot to defend from is behind. Actually my favorite spot in the whole So field. it's not gonna be an easy task to get past this guy. So his turn for offense now. Ready? Yep. He saw what I did on the first move. So it worked. The question mark, he tried it himself. Didn't go in, but definitely got some separation on me. Oh my God, I'm tired. <laughs> Guys, this series, it's a defensive battle. Both of us are yet to score. We're both getting good looks, but we're not burying them. Let's see if I can bury one right now, boys. Oh, you, yeah, you hear me? Let's go! All right, boys, the score is 1-0 me now. Deep strings, turn on offense. my turn on offense now we've decided we may not go all the way to three we're just gonna do a few more and see what the final score is at the end of that let's go my turn boy oh ready boys watch this me up on that one bro bro is all over me oh my god 
All right, boys, so the score, it's 2-0 me. Thief has decided he's gonna do just one more O rep to see if he can expose me and finish this time one final time, but we have decided I've won, Thief. Yeah, men's, now, men's league doesn't condition you for reps like these. <laughs> now he's gonna cook me. Hopefully. <laughs> up guys for the one-on-one -on -one epic series i have won the thief he's a pole bro he did pretty good offensively against me and bro his checks they hurt man like may not look too bad right now but it's like that 30 minutes after your practice or game that's when you really feel it i have all the adrenaline in the world right now i think when i get home i'm gonna be hurting yeah that's my bad i'm not hurting too bad driscoll's soft no nah, we just gotta get better that's all that's what it's all about you know Check each other hard, play like it's exactly a game whenever we practice, you know? Exactly. Peace out, boys. <laughs> yo, yo, you good, bro? <laughs> yo, no way. Bro's yakking. All right, so I just got home, got showered up, and now I'm having another meal. It's the same as before with 250 grams of sweet potato, eight ounces of chicken, but I'm also having some almonds and raisins. The total macros on this meal is... 760 calories, 56 grams of protein, 90 grams of carbs, and 19 grams of fat. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm very hungry once again, and do um, some work for the rest of the night on my computer. I'm also offering custom workout and custom meal plans. All you gotta do is DM me on Instagram at daviddriscoll18 uh, if you're interested, and I'll get back to you. Also, if you've enjoyed the video this far, if you made it this far, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments that you're still in this video by commenting Driscoll's Dogs. Hashtag Driscoll's Dogs. D-R-I-S-C-O-L-L-S-D-A-W-G-S. That's what we're going to call my supporter group. All right, guys. I'm now having my last meal of the day. It's a yogurt bowl. It's um, oats, 60 grams. One serving of Greek yogurt, 170 grams, non-fat, plain, and one pouch of raisins. The macros for this meal, 440 calories, 27 grams of protein, 74 grams of carbs, and 4 grams of fat. So the final macros for the day was 2,400 calories, 206 grams of protein, 267 grams of carbs, and 58 grams of fat. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. That wraps up the day in the life vlog of day six of my summer challenge. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you want me to make another one of these because I'm down if you're down. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Keep grinding.